Y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Scotty, and we're here for another episode of Yes for the Mess, and we're here to talk about K. Michelle yet again. Y'all know I really hate to have to go in on K. Michelle and have to drag her, because y'all know that's my heart, but I pride myself on being unbiased when I do my videos. I really pride myself on it. So, I pride myself on giving an unbiased view on anything I do, whether it's a reality recap, whether it's a yes for the mess or anything like that. I pride myself on being unbiased, so it is what it is. However, you guys know that whenever I do a yes for the mess, I always cite my sources and where I got this news from. And tonight's source is The Shade Room. Now, apparently, K. Michelle made some tweets as she's working on her new album, which is coming out in February. And she decided to touch on her musical mentor, which is R. Kelly. Now, her tweets have set off a little bit of alarms with a couple of fans, and she's been getting dragged all over about it. Now, here is the series of tweets that she put out, and then we're going to go back to what she said to defend those said tweets after she was drag dragged for them. So, here are the tweets, and I'm going to read to you as follows. I swear, if Rob was here, so many of my musical questions would be answered. If you have a mentor, you need to learn as much musically as possible. But I took so many days of learning for granted, never knowing this would happen to him. I'm trying to create the most genuine last R&B record, and I really need to play it for him, but you can't. It hurts. I have to be confident in my skills and do this alone. Once again, I'm not defending a single song. So, wrong is wrong, but within separating the man from the music, musically, I've trusted him my whole career, and now it's time I trust myself. No one will ever understand how heavy it is watching the person who saved your life be crucified in front of the world for their sickness. Now, those are the tweets that K. Michelle put out there um, the other night before she, you know, before the world got um, a hold of them. Now, this is what I got to say about the situation. Now, to me, I don't see what she said wrong, honestly. I don't see her um, defending him. I don't see her justifying anything that he did. The only thing that she decided to do was separate the man in his troubles from the music because the music and the man that in his troubles are not the same thing. There's a lot of people out there that are artists and they do heinous shit but I could separate the person from the music. K. Michelle is a great example. K. Michelle is known for her horrible attitude and her negative um, stance on a lot of things. But as a man that likes her music, I can separate the two. Regardless of her having a fucked up ass attitude, I can still get into her music. But I think that the, the part that makes it bad is when she said that it hurts that a man, that, that someone that you love or your mentor is being crucified in front of the world for their sickness. Now, when you put a play on words like that, that sets people off, especially being that this involves children and, uh, you know, sexual uh, ca encounters with kids and just people have gone through child molestation and being raped and everything like that. So that is a very touchy topic. And when you want to discuss a man that's involved in it, you have to be mindful of the things you say and how the hell you say it because you probably didn't mean no harm, which I don't think you meant any harm, but you need to learn how to word your shit correctly and the way you worded it there was all the way fucked up and that's why you getting dragged for it. And it could be a matter of some things that you think you might as well keep it to yourself. And this is one of those things that you needed to keep to yourself. If you was going to talk about R. Kelly being your musical mentor and all this other shit, you could have talked about it without having that last tweet. I think that last tweet really set things off and made people upset. And that's why they are now dragging you now. But after all of the dragging that she got for those tweets, she responded to the um, backlash. And this is what she said. No regrets. I say what I say. Ain't my fault people didn't pay, didn't pay attention in elementary school and can't comprehend that I'm not defending anyone. I'm talking about my story and my life. No soul alive will take my God-given rights to feel. I'm not God. I don't have a heaven or hell to put anybody in. But you won't sit at home from your couch and judge on how I heal from my struggles. This is real life out here. I had a man beat my ass and all y'all did was laugh and make it entertainment in the storyline to laugh at and make memes about. I've had conversations with some of the victims and offered my help, but because I don't post it, I don't care. Wow, y'all faves post themselves passing out gifts for cloud every day, but that ain't me. I no longer have to prove shit. <clears throat> I no longer have shit to prove on an app. And at the end of the day, she said what she said. 
Um, I don't see, like I said, I see what message she was trying to convey in regards to her musical relationship with R. Kelly and how he taught her a lot about music. If you are a follower of K. Michelle and a longtime fan like I am, you would know that R. Kelly was her mentor. R. Kelly was the man that saved her from another abuser. So that's why she sees him the way that she sees him. Some people have different experiences with other people, but at the same time, you cannot justify or excuse what some people do at the end of the day. I can be fans of you all day long, but I don't, I can't condone what you do. It's just like with Unwind with Tasha K. She's one of my favorite YouTube bloggers, but I don't con condone a lot of the things that she do. I do like her stuff, I think she's entertaining as fuck, but at the same time, some of the things that she says and some of the things that she does are not my taste. Um, that's even with the Wiley show. I like Wiley. A lot of people can't stand the Wiley show, but I like him. Now, do I agree with some of the things he says or some of the things that he does? No, but I like him. As a person that, that does the same thing I do as an entertainer, as a blogger, all of that stuff. But that doesn't mean I have to confine and agree with everything that he does. I think that at the end of the day, K. Michelle's point is going to get lost in the sauce regardless when it comes down to R. Kelly. Because all people are going to see is the fact that A, he pissed on a young girl on camera and engaged in sexual acts with her. There was a whole show. About a 10-part show called Surviving R. Kelly where these victims have came forward and talked about the things that they endured while being with this man. You got parents looking out. You had parents looking for him. You got kids that couldn't even eat. It had to do a lot of courageous things at his mercy and all of this other stuff. So at the same point in time, <clears throat> I totally understand why the people are upset with her, but I also understand what she was trying to say, but this topic is going to always be sensitive, and whatever point you were trying to make, it's never going to fall to the... No one's going to hear what you got to say. It's always going to look like you're defending R. Kelly and you're justifying him. All you had to do was say you needed R. Kelly's... Uh, you know, need R. Kelly's ear to see exactly where your music was going, and that's that. Because at the end of the day, he was your mentor at one point in time. But to say that he's being crucified <clears throat> for his quote-unquote sickness, you do make it sound like he's being wrongfully held accountable when he should be. That's how I see it. So it is what it is. Um, What do you guys think about it? Let's leave it below. Let's talk about it. Um, Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It will be at the bottom. Be sure to um like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And share this video. Do whatever you see fit. And um, I'll holler at y'all. I got other videos to do. So I'll see y'all for the next one. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace out.